Well, joining me now via Zoom for more discussion on this is a human rights activist and public affairs analyst, Olufemi Lawson. Thank you for joining me, sir. <laughs> All right. So the strike is extended by four weeks to give the government more time to resolve the issues. Do you see anything positive happening in the coming days? Well, fundamentally, I don't want to be pessimistic, but I don't think... Uh, there's enough readiness on the part of the federal government to bring this issue to an end, especially when you look at how long this has lingered. And it is very unfortunate that what ordinarily should be a major priority to any serious country has been so you know, abandoned to the extent that you know, we cannot really predict you know, any foreseeable time that this strike will be brought to an end. It is very sad that enough attention has not been given to this, enough, enough priorities have not been attached to this, and one cannot say that there is any resolution at sight considering how far this has been you know, prolonged up till now. Okay, so the latest is that the Minister of State for Labor and Employment, Festus Gayamo, had advised uh, Nigerian parents to beg the striking university teachers to call off their strike, added that the federal government had no money to meet ASU demand. What do you make of this? Well, I think uh, in all fairness, that uh, statement should not be taken with any, you know, iota of seriousness by anyone, not even by parents or even teachers, not even by the federal government that Mr. Kiyamu works for. It is quite insensitive and I don't think it really appeals to the issue itself when you have to resort you know, to asking parents to go and beg ASU, how will that kind of begging or appeal you know, address the fundamental issues that ASU have been raising, which has led to this strike? And what commitment has the federal government that Mr. Kiyamo works for you know, made to the extent that Nigerian parents cannot, can now ask ASU you know, to begin to consider the need to... It's very sad that our universities could be shut for this long. But the truth is that if these issues are not addressed once and for all, there is a tendency that we'll wake up next year again or in the next couple of months to another industrial action by the ASU. I think what Mr. Kiyama or every other patriotic Nigerian should be saying is how federal government and ASU can reach an amicable you know, end to this issue once and for all, rather than you know, postponing the evil day. It is not enough for us as parents to go and prostrate for us to, to call up the strike, does that address the fundamental issues that this strike, you know, the issues around this strike? No. I think we should not continue to trivialize issues that are serious as the future of a country, the way Mr. Kiyama has attempted to do. All right, so the, the union as well had their two-day protest, but they're still saying that there is no sign of seriousness or serious commitment on the part of the government. Uh, do you agree with them? Seriously, that is the reality. And I think one of the issues that some of us personally have with the negotiations and the commitment of the federal government is that the ministry, ordinarily that should have been taking the lead in finding a resolution to this issue, the Ministry of Education has practically gone to sleep. And one cannot but continue to ask why President Mamadou Buhari is keeping Mr. Adamu Adamu as the Minister of Education in Nigeria. If you look at the role Minister Chris Ingege has played, you know, in even bringing you know, a resolution to this issue, you realize that even the Ministry of Education has not played a quarter of this role. It's sad, and it tells you that even the ministry that is in Sadhu is not primarily you know, feeling the pains, it's not showing enough commitment. And we have a responsibility to demand that the federal government meet even if it cannot meet in wholesome, the basic and fundamental demands of ASU. You cannot continue to you know, make promises and begin to renege as soon as strikes are called off. Look at the issue of the, you know, the revitalization fund already agreed in the agreement between federal government and, and ASU, 200 billion per annum. At when, at, as, at, as at this you know, year that is already in August, how much of the annual commitment has federal government made into this you know, agreement. Does it mean that a country like Nigeria cannot commit 200, 200 billion 
towards the revitalization of his public university in a year. This is a part of the fundamental issues that ASU is raising that the federal government is not addressing. You cannot promise over 200 billion and, only have big, and drop a token of 30 billion and assume that it is enough for us to continue to produce you know, graduates who just are just passing through the university now to get certificate, not getting really equipped as university students should be because of the lack of basic you know, necessities that should really turn our universities to real you know, refineries of, you know, of knowledge. And these are the issues that I think federal government should take seriously and make this commitment in a genuine manner. Enough of these meetings and promises. All right. Thank you very much, Olufemi Lawson, for sharing your thoughts with us.